Hello and thank you as always for clicking and watching what the Garretts have been up to over the last couple of months. Once again I feel I always start these videos with a, an apology that Janina and the kids are not here. I'll try and attach some photos at the end of their cute faces but it, it just wasn't going to happen without it being utter chaos once again. So you've just got me for the next uh, little while but I'm excited to update you with all that God's been doing over the last two and a bit months. So we've just recently finished something called Homecoming, which is where we invite missionaries from the frontiers to come back uh, to the UK. Uh, they're scattered throughout the Middle East and just really, really difficult places to be serving. Uh, places where loving Jesus uh, can get you killed. Uh, minimum it can get your uh, visa revoked and your life upturned and kicked out but there's real strong possibilities of harm to these people and there's a real cost that they've said yes to in going they've obediently gone where God has told them and we want to bring them to Scotland to Seamill to enter into a gifting that we have which is a gift of restoration so we take two weeks free of charge to pamper them, to counsel them, to debrief them, to treat them well, lots of good food. And during that time, we see incredible restoration. I was talking to one guy uh, halfway through and he, he asked how many staff we had, to which I said, we've got a, a little less than 20 at the moment, to which he said, I, I can't believe it's that few. I've heard about homecoming throughout the Middle East and its impact reaches far and wide. I thought you at least had a team of 100, uh, which is always fantastic to hear that uh, after all these years of longing to be an avenue of refreshing and a safe place for that, for these guys on the frontiers, that that, that is being accomplished. We had uh, six plus two kids uh, with us this last time. Uh, and each one of them is going back to their respective countries, utterly refreshed and ready uh, to walk out what Jesus has for them once again. We're currently running the Discipleship Training School. If you can believe it, they're almost ready to go on outreach, which is crazy. They'll be going to Morocco and to London, which is all very exciting. A, a whole lot of backstory to that and how that's come about. But the DTS has been going through topics like uh, Holy Spirit, Father Heart, Evangelism, Relationships, Biblical Worldview, these incredible topics which are so uh, deeply challenging to their core. But the, the whole point of DTS isn't just for you to go deep with Jesus and for you to have a nice time with Jesus. The point of DTS is for you to be equipped, for you to ask the hard questions, for you to find healing, and for you to put it into practice. For you to go to the nations and see the nations encounter Jesus. So uh, from December 10th, we send all of our trainees out to the nations uh, to go and put into practice what they've learned and to see others encounter this Jesus that they've been encountering. It's such a privilege to see young people uh, continually giving their yes to Jesus, a yes that comes at a cost and a yes that isn't easy. Uh, but discipleship is a joy uh, so it's been an incredible last what nine weeks with them all looking forward to sending them out and looking forward to seeing what God does both in and through them all live in all so the the outdoor ministry with hiking and camping and retreats uh, is go 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 man I'm still longing for a team with two little kids I'm taking a whole lot less groups and a lot less responsibility with it so my desire now is to to build up a team so that it can expand because the the possibilities and the opportunities are absolutely huge uh, currently still taking out a group of refugees uh, different refugees each week there are some that remain the same a group of recovering addicts which is an incredible group to journey with uh, the first time I went out with them uh, to the second time, uh, it's, it's life and death stories. In that short month and a half period, one of those men went home and was murdered. Another one of those men uh, has completely restored relationship with his family. 
it's huge to take these guys out into nature and have life-changing conversations with them. People who cannot get outside because they don't have the equipment, they don't have the know-how, and they definitely don't have the finances to do it. But it's not just with these groups, I'm also taking out the Youth With A Mission trainees, and with them we're doing a whole lot of processing with God out in nature. They're coming along with me for some of the outreaches, uh, and it's always an adventure to take these guys out to meet with Jesus. And finally, if you love the outdoors, or if you know of people who love the outdoors, then please do go to the YWAM Seamill website uh, and you'll see some of the dates for our coming uh, retreats. Or you can go to the YWAM Seamill Facebook. But there's going to be a hiking retreat during June and during August. So if you have any interest in that, please do drop me a message, let me know, uh, and we'd love to have you come along to that as well as some of your friends. So I mentioned the DTS going to Morocco. Uh, over, over the last little while, God has been speaking about us re-engaging with some very specific people groups around the world we, that we as YWAM Scotland are committed to. Uh, and Morocco is one of those places that God has just been throwing connections at us without us asking. And it's got us saying, how can we steward these people better? How can we reach them better? And so the DTS is really a first fruit of this. We're sending them out uh, in, uh, to our brand new connections and to reach out and ultimately see people come to know Jesus. Uh, during their outreach, I'll go. Uh, I'll be there for a little over a week. Uh, and while I'm there, I'll be going hiking with them to reach a specific people group. I'll be uh, meeting with some strategic Youth With A Mission contacts and having some sit-downs with them. And also, part of it is to sit down with the trainees at the halfway point of their outreach, have some debrief, and have a bit of a pastoral visit. All of this comes at a, a fair bit of a cost. Travel is not as easy as it used to be. So if you would like to partner with us in doing this, uh, please do once again let me know if you'd like to give towards Travel to Morocco. My desire is for this to become a regular thing and for our impact in that nation to become strategic and building long term. We don't want to have fun adventures abroad. We want to build God's kingdom strategically, hearing his voice. So if you'd like to give towards this outreach, if you'd like to give towards uh, the travel that I'm about to jump into, which will be around £300, uh, then please do let us know. It would be a huge blessing. We so appreciate each one of you that partner with us. We're volunteers. We can't do any of this without you. Uh, running a mission is no small task. Running training schools, running an outdoor ministry, running local outreaches and looking out for the local staff is no small feat. But thanks to you saying yes to partnering with us, it's happening and it's growing. So we really appreciate you praying and you giving. Please do continue to pray for us as a mission. Please do continue to pray for the Garrets as jumping into leadership, brand new things happening, and a young family. There's an awful lot going on, uh, but we so appreciate you. Uh, it's almost Christmas. I hope that you all have a wonderful Christmas. I know the Garrett's, we're going to be uh, meeting up with my brother, and that will mean four children under the age of three. So we're not going to be getting much sleep. It will be a good adventure. Bring it on. Uh, God bless you. Have a wonderful Christmas. And once again, thank you so much for partnering with us.